don't really like the word cheap. I like frugal. However, Google likes the word cheap. So that's what we're going with. Hey guys, it's Sexy Wednesday, welcome. Today we're gonna talk about cheap ways to get some design done. Every designer I know is probably gonna be pretty annoyed with me once they see this video, but the fact of the matter is most people who are starting a business cannot afford to pay a designer right off the bat. So when you're pinching pennies, but you're still looking for ways to have a decent looking online presence, these are some ideas that I have for you. First, if you're looking to create a website, I recommend you use wordpress.org. Get a hosting company to pay, what, like $6, $7, $10 a month to host for you, and then go to themeforest.net to find a theme. There are so many options on this website. They could be anything from $25 to $50. Maybe there's some in the 70s at this point. The prices have gone up on the site because the work is getting so much better. You will definitely find a layout that you like for your website on themeforest.net. There are just a ridiculous number of options. Once you have a website, you still need something that's just yours, and that's usually your logo. Now, I don't like to recommend anything cheap for a logo because your logo is so important. I think you probably need to have fun set aside for that. If you don't, if it's just something that you wanna create and you'll make it better later when you have the funds, that's fine. I recommend you go to fiverr.com. Fiverr has two R's in it, and essentially there's a lot of things on that website, not just logos, a lot of things that you can get people to do for you for $5. Now, is your logo gonna be awesome? Absolutely not, definitely not, but it'll be fine. There are a lot of designers there that are just trying to get their portfolio up, so they're willing to take whatever order you want and they'll make you a quick logo. The turnaround time is on their profile. You can see when you'll get it and it's something good for now. Really don't recommend you do that, but if you're really in a pinch, five bucks, you can get anything on that website, it's amazing. If you want a little bit more control in terms of the design process, but you're not interested in paying the $300 or more for a logo, then you might wanna to try to learn how to use a little bit of Photoshop yourself. If you don't wanna pay for Photoshop, however, you're gonna need something else. GIMP is a great free Photoshop application for your computer. I actually have been using GIMP for so long, I still use it even though I think I have Photoshop on my computer just because I pay for the Adobe package. But GIMP is just an easy thing to download and play with and learn how to use Photoshop without forking over all the money in advance. Just like Photoshop, you can YouTube or Google instructions of how to do things on GIMP. There's a learning curve. I still don't know a lot of things on GIMP, but I know the bare necessities where I've been able to do some design things on my own. You just might find playing with some fonts and colors and stuff like that that making a logo for yourself isn't that bad on GIMP. If you wanna get really fancy and learn how to do design yourself, you can check out lynda.com. Lynda is spelled with a Y, not an I, and they do so much training on that website. Really, you probably don't even need to go to school to be a designer, you could just take Lynda classes and it would be Amazing. Do not forget the power of YouTube. Anything you wanna know about how to design something in any application, there is a tutorial for it on YouTube. So definitely search YouTube even before you decide to learn how to do something on another application because that will at least give you an idea of what you're gonna see once you have it and how to navigate it and the basics and stuff like that. Lastly, tap into your network. There's probably somebody just like the people on Fiverr who are just trying to build up their portfolio and would love some of your services in return for a little task. Don't ask for them to do you a favor. Don't ask for something for free so that you can help them out. They're helping you, so you need to fork over just as much value as you're asking from them. Remember, just because somebody might only take five minutes to make something because they're really good at it, doesn't mean that you don't need to pay for it. You're paying for expertise and training and design minds, and that's worth something. These are some cheap design options for you to take into consideration consideration. I will say that I like to hire a designer whenever possible so that I don't have to take on these tasks, but I designed a website over the weekend using WordPress, Theme Forest, and a logo that we had made by a designer, and it took me a day. Now, it took me a day because I'm used to this kind of stuff, but it's still, it, it, it's not that hard if you want to do it yourself and you want to do it 
frugally or cheap. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. This has been your Sexy Wednesday episode where we talk about all things sexy, pretty, and design and anything else I can think of that is sexy. I appreciate it as always. If you want to thumbs up this video and subscribe to this channel because tomorrow is Social Thursday and I know you don't want to miss that. No, you don't want to miss that. So I will see you then. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should Catch me on Twitter, too. I'm always over there. At Schmatastic and at Savvy Sexy Social. See you tomorrow.